So with uh, these two uh, system combination, time-lapse system and genetic testing of the embryos will help for the more people who didn't have a, a result after IVF treatment before. My name is Dr. Violeta Fodina. I am a medical director of IVF Riga clinic. Um, if shortly introduced myself, I'm working in the infertility field more than 15 years. And also I'm a gynecologist and obstetric specialist uh, who routinely have this kind of patient as well. Uh, for this moment, we are the biggest and largest clinic uh, in Latvia. And uh, our fresh cycles amount is over of 800 and uh, the common amount of the cycles it's uh, close to 1,500 cycles per year. And uh, for this moment we have uh, three de uh, departments. The first uh, department is uh, more concentrated for the fertility patient treatment and included all kind of infer infertility treatment possibilities. Since 2014 we have opened the first genetic reproductive clinic in Baltic State and North Europe. This clinic focuses for different kind of genetic analysis and first of all it is a genetic test what we have performed before IVF treatment for concretization of the problems and with the um, hope to choose a correct treatment for this patient. The second message of this clinic it is to do the uh, pre-implanting genetic diagnostic which help to check the chromosome of embryos before embryo transfer. Since 2016 we have a new departments which name it Biotechnology and Stem Cell Centers which focusated and concentrated now for the cord blood and cord collection and banking but our future steps will be treatment with the stem cells help. One of the new techniques, what going more and more popular, it is a time-lapse system. And of course, we, a couple of years ago, in 2013, um, pay attention for that as well. In this time, we check a different kind of time-lapse system, which was available in uh, our market. And uh, we uh, stay with our choice with the embryoscope. Why? The first reason, it is a possibility for cultivate embryos during the five days not to change the area and the specific option for these embryos. We have stayed these embryos five days in the incubator and through the monitor our embryologist can control these processes. The second one, it's a possibility for the embryologist to discover small details which will be helped to us to choose a correct gold embryos for the embryo transfer. The third one, it is uh, one of the great possibility to using the algorithm of the embryo development which also help to us to do the correct decision which embryos will be transferred to the woman. The fourth reason, uh, the embryoscope helps for embryologists to define the correct time for the embryo biopsy for PGS treatment. The fifth reason, not compared with the embryo development, but it's very important to our life. It's an uh, embryoscope very friendly to our embryologic team because the embryologist can continue to check the embryos from the home or other places. For that, they not needed to be in the laboratory. What advantages give the embryoscope? First, 
we can select during the five days the embryos which will be never give a pregnancy, which is a developed incorrect with the incorrect algorithm, which will be never give a maybe correct genetic results uh, from them. So this uh, system helped to us to choose only the best or stronger embryos what in the future will be examined for the genetic status. Of course, the embryoscope um, uh, cannot give the answer without genetic test, but without embryoscope you cannot do the genetic test. The combination between time-lapse system embryoscope and the PGS analysis give uh, two benefits for the two main benefits for the patient. First of all, it is uh, time in the treatment. It's uh, doing shorter from the start of the treatment till half of the baby. And the second benefit, it is the security for the patient from different kind of genetic disorders. Uh, what we can check on the laboratory and uh, develop the, the delivering of the healthy baby.